Well, this is weird. Somebody, some nerfer somewhere, set me up on a blind date. He told me to meet them here and that the package was in a purple chair and that they were a real 90s kid. Oh my. Oh look, people. Time for car. Why hello to you all my fellow nerds and welcome to my very first vintage review. I really should be doing more of these. It's amazing how I've gotten to the point now in the word vintage in my seven, eight years and being a part of this hobby. But judging that this blaster is older than I am, I think today we can make an exception. This, ladies and folks, is the bow and arrow bow blaster. Yes, this is the first blaster to exist for Hasbro. Everything past that um, was the Endstrike line, the Endstrike Elite, all the way up to what we know today. So. A lot of history in my hands right now. As you can tell, the strings are uh -huh, aged, but it definitely has some wear and tear to it. Uh, it still works just fine. Uh, and that's because of this large plunger tube that you can see along the back here. It's pretty solid when you get a feel of it in this rather obnoxious handle in the back. Uh, it really holds up to its own. It's very sturdy. There's not really much of a need to make further modifications towards it. And I think personally that's what makes it stand the test of time. You see no escape cap. For as big as this plunger tube is, and for it to escape out of these two holes, it goes roughly about 25-30 feet per second. If we're talking 1991, that's pretty fabulous. You can't expect this blaster to be anything of tactical or competitive, like actually at all, but it's definitely good for the funsies. It's really good in getting a blast from the past. It actually gains some fair amount of distance. I think I shall name it Timmy, because Timmy is pink. Some other notes to notice on here. Uh, this is legitimate. I must be a child. The grip, there's not really a whole lot there, but maybe it's just the fact that I have small hands that I'm able to hold it nice and sturdy. Uh, and I don't really have much issues with it at all, aside from it matching my Nerf glasses. Very simple. You're gonna take your rocket here, you're gonna slap it in there. Very simple. I know this is gonna take years and years of practice. And then you slap your other rocket up here like so. You just go, you pull it back, and you're gonna fire. And there it is. One more time, one more time, one more puppy. And there we go. There's one more thing that we have to do before we sign off and before I lose the sun for good. And we have to run this through a chronograph. And that's about it. You can't get readings like that with anything else. It was just really cool getting to get my hands on a piece of actual history. Not much reason to complain. It's a beautiful day. I was able to get out a little bit early from work and just enjoying the weather. And apparently everyone around here seems to be loving the blaster and me looking ridiculous as well. So yeah, if you're interested in investing in this blaster, uh, I would say eBay eBay, maybe Amazon, and eBay. If you guys have any blaster review requests, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. But until such time, I will start to make my way home before it gets too dark for even me to function. Hope you guys are staying well and staying safe and hanging in there while I continue to be ridiculous and gimmicky with now officially all the vintage blasters. Until next time, this is Archer reminding you to stay classy, stay awesome, stay ridiculous, and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys, take it easy. Damn it.